What's up guys? Welcome back to another mental health video. So today we are going to be doing 10 signs you are not lazy but depressed. Let's get right into this video. Number one, you find it hard to do even the simplest of tasks. Like sometimes doing something very simple as hygiene or the chores or even going to work may seem very hard to do because you have no motivation to do anything. Number two, lack of motivation. Lack of motivation is you don't feel like you have the motivation or the energy to really do anything. And you find yourself not really enjoying the things you used to. And I know sometimes this can be like, oh, um, I'm just really lazy, you know, I just don't really wanna do the things I enjoy. No, that can be a sign of depression because with depression, like I said before, lack of motivation, not really wanting to do anything, and it can make you not, not be able to have pure happiness while you do that activity or really anything that you used to love doing, like a hobby or something like that. Number three, Knowing that you're not doing anything may get you a little frustrated and mad because you may be like, oh, I'm just lazy, I'm not doing enough, when it's okay to not always be doing um, things. Like, it's okay to just take a break, take a mental health day or a couple of days to yourself because I know sometimes um, in this world it can get very crazy with our... Um, with our worldly expectations nowadays and just expectations you have for yourself. So if you wanna just take a couple of days of rest and watch TV or take a mental health day from work, that is totally okay. And I wanna let you guys know, only do what you can do. I know in this life today, we can be so pressured to go above and beyond and feel like we have to be doing this, we have to be doing that, but it's okay to only do what you can do. Number four. They lose interest in things they used to love to do, which is kind of like number two when you lose your motivation. But with this, like hobbies you used to really, really enjoy, things you used to really love to do, like hiking or maybe going to the lake or hanging out with friends, things that you used to love to do, you just don't like to do it anymore. You just feel nothing. You feel absolutely nothing when you do it. It's like you're in a state of not freeze, but it's like you're in autopilot where it's just like you're doing them, but you don't really feel any joy or feel anything why you're doing them. Number five, isolating. Are you not being as social anymore? Did you really used to be a social butterfly? Did you go out with friends? Did you like to do a whole bunch of hobbies and you were out all the time and now you're isolating yourself? Because with depression comes isolation or it can have isolation and it's where you are depressed, you feel really down, you feel really lazy, maybe lethargic and it'd be really easy to want to be alone and want to deal with everything by yourself internally and you can feel like you're you're alone and that like i said you have to deal with everything by yourself but i want to let you know right here and right now that is not being lazy um and there are people can, who can help you are not alone in this scenario number six feeling moody and very irritated. Have you been very moody? Like the smallest thing can make you break and snap at the smallest things. Sometimes when we get depressed, we can have a, we can have more of a hard time controlling our emotions because it can feel like our emotions are everywhere. We can, we can feel like we either have no emotions where we're just shut off and we're just numb, or we can have so much crash in emotions that we don't know what to feel because we feel everything all at once so notice that have you been getting moody or like feeling really sad one minute and then really angry the next minute and then you're okay um and like the next minute keep track of that because that's a very very important one to keep track of number seven you feel distracted and disconnected from things do you feel like disconnected from your living, like you're not really living, but you are like you're on autopilot, like you're just going through the motions and kind of just, you know what to do in your everyday life. So you kind of just live your life like you know how to live, but it's like, you're not really living in conscious, if that makes sense. Um, I know sometimes with depression, it could feel easier to shut off and disconnect, but I wanna let you know there are very healthy coping skills to help 
um, to help with this because I know it may be easier to shut off, but sometimes um, it's not the healthiest. And I know a lot of the times when we are depressed or we feel very sad, it could be just easier to disconnect from things. Number eight, you feel like you can't concentrate. Even when you try so hard, you're just so tired and low on energy that your brain can't take in information and it can't focus. So I, even with my personal experience with school and when I was in, cause everyone gets, to, gets depressed or everyone has their moments. And I know for me, it could be very hard to focus on school when I feel like this because it just makes it where it's like you, you can learn the information, but it's like you really don't obtain it. Like it doesn't click in your brain and you have to like overhear it a couple of times or um, or maybe it doesn't even get in at all where you have to ask the teacher to repeat yourself. It's just like no task, like you start a task and in like four minutes, it's like, okay, I'm moving on to the next thing because your brain just, you're so tired and low in energy. And with this, it's not just anxiety, it's not just depression, but with also anxiety because with depression, it's sadness and you get into that a uh, cycle of like overthinking and anxiety, which makes you anxious. And this is also like when you have anxiety, it's like you can't, you have so much anxiousness and anxiety about that task and what that task can bring that it's very hard. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna avoid that as much as possible. Um, number nine, did you lose your appetite and have no appetite? Did you used to find yourself wanting to eat all the time, loving to eat, loving food, all that stuff, and now you just don't have an appetite at all, and you're just low of energy, nothing makes you wanna eat? Well, that could be depression, not laziness. And I know sometimes it can be hard, but I want you to try, even if you don't feel hungry, to eat just something little, because with food, it helps with our mental health so much because what we put in our body helps with our mind and just our physical aspects of our body as well. Number 10, I wanna let you guys know for number 10 that you are not alone. And then if you feel lazy and like you have no motivation and you feel sad and depressed, don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad that you're not getting anything done. Sometimes that's okay. Remember, like I said, take a mental health day. It's okay to be lazy. Sometimes it's okay to just take that break and only do what you can do because all in then it's your life and you know what you can do, you know your limits, so it's okay. And if you do feel like you need to get help, it's okay to talk to a mental health professional, talk to a therapist, a psychiatrist, or even your friends if that's what you feel comfortable with. No, you are not alone. Number 10, I wanna let you guys know for number 10 that you are not alone. And then if you feel lazy and like you have no motivation and you feel sad and depressed, don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad that you're not getting anything done. Sometimes that's okay. Remember, like I said, take a mental health day. It's okay to be lazy. Sometimes it's okay to just take that break and only do what you can do because all in then, it's your life. And you know what you can do, you know your limits. So it's okay. And if you do feel like you need to get help, it's okay to talk to a mental health professional, talk to a therapist, a psychiatrist, or even your friends if that's what you feel comfortable with. No, you are not alone.